Hey everybody, it's Just101, and we are back for more Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we got through three levels, played a mini game, showed off the, all the new plants, and we just got this new plant called the Snow Pea. And we we don't really know what it does. Well, I do, but you guys don't. You'll be you'll see what Frozen does. It's kind of misleading. It seems like it will freeze them, but it doesn't. It just makes them move slower. So we'll be showing that off. And as you see by up here, we only have six slots left. We're going to be running. We're going to get our seventh plant, and you'll be wondering. You'll be able to choose the choose the plants you bring into each level. So that's extremely helpful. I always recommend you bring a sunflower, no matter what stage it is. You pretty much have to, if you want to live. Stay on mine right there. So that's, it's always recommended that you do that because it's helpful. Alrighty. Hope the music isn't too loud or anything. I don't believe it is. I I cranked it down a bit, so we should be fine on that aspect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two rows for this level because I want to show off what the snow pea does. He's not that helpful, but if you have enough sun, it's kind of like why not, you know? He's not that bad though. Go down a pea shooter. So yeah, snow peas, they're, they're okay, but I mean, I don't really find a use for them now. Later in the levels where you get different ty types of uh, zombies, then, you know, that'll be pretty helpful, but. Okay, we're doing good on the sun aspect here. Yeah, I think I was saying in the last video that I'm excited for Chugger Conway's new new LP. I really don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited. By the time this is uploaded, it's probably his LP is probably already gonna be up, so whatever. So yes, here are the zombies that are coming. Throw down a potato mine. Give me some more time to build up my sun. So yeah, you can't just place it right here and expect it to explode. You have to put it a little farther back or wait for it to pop up. They take an extremely long time. Okay, I good because there's uh, already a already also what the show piece snow pea does now. He just shoots the same thing as green guys, so the same amount of damage, but it slows them heavily. So this guy is like a regular walking speed now. And if you put it on regular walking speed guys, they go so slow. Yeah, the snow peas aren't bad, but especially for fast people. But I mean, I, I don't really find a use for them that much. Throw one down. Yeah, the regular walking guys go so slow; it's ridiculous. Like it's it's barely even moving. Again, for some of the later bosses in the game, and like different, like really strong zombies, you're going to pretty much need some type of snow pea. There's different types of freezing enemies later in the game. There isn't that many though. I believe there's only like four different things later in the game, and one of those you get on you, you have to actually buy from his shop. You can buy different things from his shop. You can buy um different plants from his shop. You can buy uh tons of different things. But whenever I use the snow piece for some reason, my F, my frames per second always goes down. I don't know why. Because behind the scenes, whoa. It's around a solid 60, 59 frames per second. For some reason, whenever a zombie gets hit with a snow pea, it jumps down to like 55. I don't know why it does that. But it does for some reason. Especially when multiple zombies get hit. Yeah, see, it's down about 55. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. <laughs> I think that's also one of the reasons I don't really use a snow piece too often. Just because it's annoying. Oh, and actually, I forgot to mention, this is the first level where, um, you have two flags. So basically, there's a halfway mark, and then there's an actual end level thing. Again, some levels later in the game go up to four different waves of, like, things. And after that first wave, it just, it just the zombies just start piling up on you. So yeah, I'm gonna set up a throw of walnuts. I'm probably not gonna have enough time to put them all, but... Oops, I put that too far up. Well, it'll stay there for now. <laughs> Throw you down. It's like when you have so much sun, it's like why not expand it, you know? Okay, my frames per second down to like 50 right now. I don't know why it's doing that. Wow, that guy actually got over that thing. 
help you, bed. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to commentate and focus on the game at the same time. But you know, screw the walnuts. I, let's make another road, guys. Yeah, you can alternate different plant types because they recharge on a separate thing. You can put down a snow pea and then immediately put down another pea shooter, so. It's all that multiple different types of plants. As you can see, we're destroying everything in existence right now. So, yeah. Let's put a fifth row, just because we have enough sun. Wow. <laughs> kind of like, why not, though? You know? And this is the final wave. There'll be a lot of zombies coming. Oh my gosh, my FPS dropped down to like 30. So many zombies. That's why I just don't use snow peas. Oh, and back up to 50. <laughs> Play perfect. Okay, you can kill him. Trick on. Dead. Okay, and this is a very interesting type of plant that I uh, honestly do not use too often. He is a chomper plant. I, is that what they're called? Let me see. Yes, just a chomper. What he does is that any zombie in the entire game, except obviously the end boss and one type of zombie, besides every other type of zombie, he will kill instantly. It doesn't matter what he is, what, how much, how much HP they have left, it will kill them. But it's very expensive, and he takes about like 20 to 25 seconds to chew and actually swallow the zombie, and during that whole time, he's defenseless. So I don't find these zombies helpful, I mean these plants helpful at all. And here is actually our next zombie, we can actually pan over to zombies right now. This is where you can choose your plants, and as you can see we're going to get a lot of different types of plants here. But this is the bucket head zombie. This is one of the things that's very annoying about this game. Bucket heads will be there from the very beginning to the very end. For regular zombies as in terms of walking speed and attacking speed. These are the strongest type you can get. They have more HP than a cone head, and they still have that. They, you actually start to kill them after you get their bucket off. These are where chompers come in handy, but I don't like using those. I kind of like using mines or walnuts or even just cherry bombs to deal with those guys. There, I think there's maybe about two or three of them this level, so we're gonna probably use the cherry bombs for that. So. I always like having my sunflower first. I don't know why. Um, walnut, potato mine. Actually, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to leave the chomper behind. Okay. Looks about good. Okay, let's beat this level. I always want to get your sunflowers as early as you can because every time you plant them, from this time until you beat the level, they will be just giving you more sun. So they're they're really helpful. So yes. Um. Let's see. You usually get about three sunflowers, and then the first one becomes. I guess in this stage, there's only one flag. I don't know why it went down, but whatever. Let's check the sunflower there. So yeah. Um. This game is only ten bucks on Steam at the moment. And it's, it's just such a cheap game, and it's just such an enjoyable experience to play. I couldn't recommend this more. I, I, I highly recommend this game to anybody. Okay, let's see. That's the shooter right there. I believe there's actually more rows for the zombies to go on, like, as in, like, lanes. I don't remember there being this much, like... I remember the zombie, the plants were being bigger. I don't know if like something got smaller somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Probably the case. So yeah, it's actually it's actually kind of annoying because some flowers they're fast recharging, but when you need to place a lot of them, it takes forever for them to get out. Pretty much. Already a cone guy. That sucks. Okay. Hopefully if I get another pea shooter out the second it gets there, we could probably kill this cone guy. Let's 
so yeah, basically the rule of thumb is that regular zombies you need, you need one pea shooter, cone heads you need two pea shooters, and bucket heads you need three pea shooters. And even then, three pea shooters have a rough time taking the bucket guy out, especially if they're with, with another zombie. It takes a while. So that's basically the beginning rule of thumb, but there is going to be lots, and I mean lots of different types of zombies, so you have to be ready for all the different attacks that are going to be happening. Oh my god, there's already a bucket guy. Um, get on. Yeah, this guy, one piece shooter is not going to take him down, so I just, you know, potato mine. Hey, even potato mines and chompers, they still, and cherry bombs, they still instant kill these bucket guys. That's why they're so helpful. Actually, I don't have anything in this row. I probably should get something in that row. Um, bucket head up. I mean, Kona head up there is good. Interesting thing, I actually, uh, oh, here it goes. In, play, in Team Fortress 2, I know I keep referencing this game a lot, but I actually have a uh, genuine brain bucket. So if you pre ordered this game on Steam or you got it like as soon as it came out, you actually got a genuine version of the cone head and the brain bucket. It's pretty cool. But I only have the uh, brain bucket. I didn't actually pre order it or anything. I actually got it off someone for really cheap, so I hope hopefully I can get the cone head because I really want I really want one of those. So yeah, we're doing pretty good here. Right, potato mine. Actually, it's probably not a good idea in case a bucket guy comes. Huh? Ah, but that's why they had cherry bombs. So, I decided not to go any snow peas. Okay, let's see. Where's the bucket head? There he is. Yeah, cherry bombs are helpful. You know. And that's it. And we got our next type of plant. I believe our eighth plant. This is a repeater, I believe. A double repeater or something. I don't remember the name. Yeah, repeater. This guy is helpful. He's basically two rows of pea shooters but it's only one row he only takes up one space but he's basically like two pea shooters and he's ex he's just a good person to have especially when you have a lot of sun you can alternate between the pea shooter and the repeater and they're just really helpful and we'll be showing off in the next episode guys so yeah if you enjoyed it like the video subscribe if you also also if you enjoyed it and um yeah i'll see you all next time